Alright y'all, what you guys are about to witness is me using the new Fenty Beauty Foundation Trophy Wife Highlighter and the Fenty Glow Lip Gloss. I hope you guys like this. Get ready with me because I ain't did one in a long damn time. So stay tuned and don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to turn on your notifications and thumbs up this video if you like it. Let's get into it. <sighs> Alright y'all, here we go to make this move a little bit faster i've already went ahead and i have done let me turn off my phone notifications because y'all will keep hearing that uh throughout this video if i don't however like i was saying i have already went ahead and did my brows as far as filling them in and all that good stuff now i'm gonna go ahead and Carve them out, clean them up. Y'all know, y'all know, y'all know. So, today, as I said in the intro, I am going to be using the Fenty Beauty collection. And uh, unlike a lot of the true beauty gurus out here, uh, Steph did not. I did not go out and purchase every day I'll go every doggone thing in the line no uh, the thing that I was most intrigued about was the foundation so that was definitely a, a piece that I was going to try because I had heard just in the couple of days that it's been out I had heard really really good reviews about it in makeup groups uh, through snapchat yada 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 so while i was at the mall of the day it was actually on oh sorry y'all it was on my to-do list for me to stop by sephora and pick up some fenty beauty now the reason why this is a big deal for me is because i'm somebody that once i find a makeup brand or i find a foundation that I like I'm not somebody that strays away period ever okay and just to show y'all how committed I am I normally use Mac studio fix liquid in color NC 45 this is my holy 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 grail and when I say holy it's a brand new bottle sitting on my vanity like right now okay just due to the fact that I'm always ready for when it's time for me to run out now generally it lasts me about three months three to four months so that's what three to four bottles a year that um I go through once it seemed like Jada started wearing um, foundation and she just so happens to be the same color as I am uh, I was going through it quite fast and because y'all for her first makeup that is what I bought her I bought her Mac uh, last year for her homecoming well shorty was uh, clearly putting on too much so she was going through her supply quite fast, which means that I was going through my supply quite fast because she started coming to mine. So I had to um, I had to switch Shorty over to something that was more economical, but teenager. Okay. So through this video, I am going to talk to talk to y'all with some of the things that I'm doing normally. I don't do this. I do a voiceover and talk uh, after the fact. But because I want you guys to actually be in the moment with me, I'm just going to talk. I haven't done one of these videos in a very long time. So, what I just did was I set my eyes to be uh, pretty much primed. And I set that with my NC42 MAC Pro Long Wear uh, Concealer. And that's what I like to use as far as like 
my brows carving them out because it dries pretty fast that's why y'all saw me working it and it dries with a matte finish so like literally if i wanted to just go with a clean naked eye i really could however that might not be the case today i don't know so i'm going to do a simple beat simple because i'm getting ready to travel and i just want to be cute while i travel yeah i want to be cute when i arrive because when i arrive i gotta actually do some stuff when i arrive so headed to a marriage retreat with my husband today and we attend these every opportunity we get so you know i still want to be cute still want to be cute so i'm just uh putting on some basic new colors right now and um i guess i'm gonna just talk to y'all about makeup i'm gonna just talk to y'all about whatever so forgive me forgive me forgive me all right so to begin first things first the eyes are set i'm going to be using uh, a color out of here it's just gonna be a base neutral color and this palette actually came from forever 21 and it just has a lot of chrome metallic colors in it and I'm going to use a fluffy brush and I'm going to go right up in here with the rose gold so that's what I'm going to work in my crease on my lid all over Today um, is just one of those days, y'all. I'm just um, I'm being basic. When I do my next get ready with me, I'll be a little bit more intense in detail. And we'll do something like y'all wouldn't even expect with some color, like some color, color. You feel me? But right now, because I just want a nice, natural beat and uh not necessarily going for anything like extra and in the meantime y'all while i'm doing this i'm packing so forgive me once again i'm packing my makeup as i do this video yeah multitasking so now that i have did like my eyes like this now i am um, literally about to test out the Fenty Beauty uh, foundation and I am wearing color three, 350 that's my color homegirl tried to match me with a 340 but it looked real ashy and I didn't like it at all and I called her out like immediately so right now the consistency is kind of watery but it's it's thin it's like skin literally so i have no primer on i just moisturized my face with coconut oil and i've been running around the house that's what i've been doing so right now i'm taking my beauty blender and now i'm going to apply the foundation so here we go much on this beauty blender however y'all see how it's like literally like melting into the skin now what I do like about this foundation is the feature that I just uh, pointed out to y'all that it does melt into the skin and it looks really really natural and I think you get good coverage. Now I only use two pumps because I also have my concealer on my hand. So I didn't want them running together. So I'm going to use an, just another pump. Ooh, so I can get my forehead. Okay, got to get the forehead. y'all excuse my hair because um i'm in the process of growing it out in my crown just due to the fact that i'm getting bored so i need something 
I need to start doing something different. So, as we can see, it is blending in quite good, I might add. And I always put foundation like going across my lips because it serves like as a primer to just get everything like uniformed and all together. And y'all, it dries fast. So that's why you see me pat, pat, pat in. And my beauty blender is damp, just in case y'all didn't know that. That's my foundation. And this is what it's looking like. Loving it. Looks like skin. Okay. I think it gives you a nice, good coverage. It's not too much. It's not too little. Yet, um, it works. So now I'm going to continue with the rest of my beauty regimen, which would be the highlight and contour. And I'm using LA Girl Pro Wear Pro concealers and this is in medium beige um I didn't buy any of the highlighting sticks or uh, highlight contour uh, sticks because I just didn't want to um I just don't feel like I gotta use everything in a particular line when um Trying something out for the first time. So, what I use for as contour, I use black opal in color uh, chocolate, and I use the con the contour the foundation stick. my contour okay then I take a uh, yeah I know what kind of brush this is I go ahead and buff in my highlight first y'all I was going to go do this live on Facebook but my response on snapchat was everybody was saying just do a video so that's why I did a video because I guess everybody don't have Facebook so I'm blending in my contour now y'all Sometimes you'll be like, oh my God, those are a lot of steps that you know you use <laughs> to just apply makeup. Oh, and that's the reason why I don't like wearing makeup. Well, different strokes for different folks. But when you do it all the time, it doesn't feel like uh, it takes like a lot of steps or it doesn't even feel like a lot of steps. It's just, it is what it is. Okay. So now that i have highlighted and contoured with my liquid products now i'm going to set those liquid products with some setting powder all up and carve out that on uh, cheek because this is how you be looking okay it's like look snatch brush it in Next on the agenda, I said I'm going to set those. And what I use to set um, my highlight is Airspun and Translucent Extra Coverage. And I use my Beauty Blender to do this. I 
this is like one of my like favorite um powders i don't use the banana powder i don't use uh the sasha buttercream none of those um i guess just because I don't know. I just never was intrigued on buying them. Before I started using this, I used to use uh, NYX finishing um, finishing powder. I used to use this to set my highlight. Yet, uh, this old butt goodie powder right here, it does the trick. And usually when I wear primer, I set my primer with this first because it helps with keeping... Um, my t-zone area from getting oily next i'm going to set my uh, i'm going to set my contour so i'm using my nyx palette to do my contour and i'm using the first two colors at the bottom i rotate in between both and let's do that Um, I don't like when you can like, like see, see, see people contour, like it'd be like harsh as I don't know what y'all, it'd be like, bam, it'd be like that. I don't like that. I just think like, carve, carve out your cheeks, carve out, you know, your temple area. Because I'm a blonde, I really be wanting to carve out my temple area because I don't want my hair looking like it's blending in with my um my skin. So now that I've done that, I'm going to go off camera and I'm going to do my wing liner and my lashes and then I'll be right back. Okay, so now that I have completed my wing liner and my lashes off camera, uh, now we're going to proceed with the rest of the look. So, pretty basic, right? So now I'm about to take a brush and I'm gonna dust away all the excess powder. Blend these two together. And if your blending is on point, you will see that, um, People, I know I see them do this a lot on Facebook. They be going in on people for using filters, okay? But if your makeup is applied right, all the filter is going to do is enhance. It's not going to, like, change your whole look, okay? Texture and all of that. Well, it do change the texture, but y'all you know understand. So, right now I'm about to use this Milani blush. And this is in Romantic Rose. I'm gonna just smile. I'm gonna get the apples on my cheeks to pop. And I'm a girl that love blush, y'all. Okay. I feel like the things on my face that make me pop my eyes of course my cheeks hello and hello Simone so next that uh, beautiful 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 highlight that Rihanna came out Fenty Beauty trophy wife y'all this is some beam me up Scotty shit okay like <clears throat> beam you up Okay, so what I did was, you see, tap that excess off and apply it directly where you want it. Because if you uh, don't tap, 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 it will be all over your face. Place it directly where you want it to be. I need a lot of this. 
tell y'all that right now. Bam. So I'm just going to dust just a little bit right down my nose. Right there. Right here. And I did not add any more to this brush, okay? And then just right here. Then my cube as well. That's it. That's all you need. This highlighter should be able to last you technically forever. Should never, ever, ever have to go replace that one. Ever. So, Rihanna did not come out with any powders other than a blot powder to set your makeup. So, therefore, I'm still using my MAC Mineral Powder because, as you can see, you really don't have to set it with a powder. However, like I said, I got somewhere to go and somewhere to be. And I want my makeup to pretty much last me all day. Not saying that it wouldn't. Yet, um, I just don't feel like the beat is complete without setting your foundation. So, do this, do this, do this. And voila. Last but not least, I'm about to line my lips with this NYX lip liner called Natural. And to complete my look, I'm actually going to be using the Fenty Glow lip gloss. And it's actually a really pretty color. I'm gonna check that struggle in the lip department. So, I need our lips to show up. Not that my husband complaining, cause he ain't. So now we're gonna use Fenty Glow. I love the way it feels. It's real. That's just one coat. And it's real nude, shiny. Pretty and all that. So this completes my basic beat using the Fenty Beauty Products by Rihanna. And um, if I was to rate them, I would give them five stars. Because when I tell y'all, your girl don't fray away from her holy grail, which is uh, MAC Studio Fix Liquid. I don't. I don't try Mary Kay. I don't do Avon. I don't do none of that. But this particular foundation, I'm actually giving Riri a thumbs up. 40 colors right out the bat. She representing, she's representing all women from the lightest white to the darkest dark okay she is representing all and she has a color for everybody and it's sad that um now that Reed undid it everybody want to come out the at the at the closets saying that you know they have colors for women of color should have been popped that out because i think riri just bought us all with this one because it's beautiful so Y'all let me know if you guys like my look. I'm loving it. And let me know if you're going to go out and purchase you some Fenty Beauty. I only purchased three. Three pieces. Foundation, Trophy Wife Highlighter, and the uh, only lip gloss that she came out with, which, which is Fenty Glow. And um, I'm loving it. I think it was um, a great choice. As you can see, this wasn't something that took forever. But I still look well put together. So, I will see you guys in the next video.